Howard. I know this is shocking, <coughs> but I am loath Nolder. It seems impossible to believe, but it's the truth. As you can see, my new body is not in good shape. I'm taking something to slow its deterioration. But the worms will have me soon. So... <coughs> so listen carefully. Time is very short. We must stop them. <coughs> stop whom? Don't you remember? I think the drug I gave you was a bit much. <coughs> what drug? What are you talking about? The drug I gave you when I took you out of the asylum. If I hadn't given it to you, you would have been gone for good by now. It was prepared by a very powerful sheep. But I think it prevents you from remembering what happened and who you really are. 
This is all nonsense. I don't understand what you're talking about. You told me to come here, and I am here. In the very house of my ancestors. What is the meaning of this? Do you know that my father is lying in that tomb? Can you tell me why he killed himself in there? Why my mother never told me anything about my father? Why I remember things I've never known before? What is happening to me? You must be calm. I am in a worse condition. Ah, I know this seems like nonsense, but it is happening. This world hides secrets that people must never learn. And we are a part of those secrets. Please, calm down and try to understand what I'm about to say to you. I've given you a special drug. You haven't lost your control, have you? So don't be afraid. The drug won't let him possess you too soon. But it won't last long. We must be quick to find the entrance to the sunken city. It is right under this town and its outlying areas. Sunken city? The necropolis city of a pre-human reptilian race. What is your connection to this situation? As you know, I went on a long journey five years ago. During my travels, I sought clues that would give me some insight into my own family history. I visited a lot of places, but I finally found my answers in a primitive forest village. Strangely, the village elders seemed to know me and told me some unbelievable things about my identity. They said I was born in that very village, the son of a European father and a mother they never revealed. Nobody spoke about her, though I persistently asked them. All I learned is that she disappeared from the village after giving birth to me, and it seemed from their tone that they were grateful when she left. I could learn nothing else about my father either, except that he was a civilized man. Apparently, I spent some of my childhood there, under the veil of strange practices and inhuman traditions. I faintly remember them showing and teaching me some horrifying things that fortunately I can't quite remember anymore. But one thing still clear in my mind, they were constantly telling me that my body was just a vessel and that someday I would return to them and be filled with true essence. And through my body, a god worshipped by the natives will be summoned. So, in a sense, I am just like you. Something that should not be. What has happened to your body? It is a long and bizarre story. My body was stolen from me. <coughs> After I'd stayed at that disgusting village for a while, the elders sent me with a native guide to a nameless ruin in the middle of a jungle so dense it seemed like no human soul had ever set foot in it before us. When we arrived, that traitorous guide pushed me into a deep chamber. They planned this all along. He was not with me, only to guide me there. <laughs> when I opened my eyes, <coughs> I was in an enclosure with lavishly carved stone walls. I was tied tight and saw some masked figures sitting around me chanting something. They were not human. Try to imagine this. I was alone with things that were not human. Their constant hissings 
still reverberate in my ears. They gave me something that made my mind go cloudy. Then, I believe I fainted. I don't know how much time passed, but when I regained consciousness, I was in total darkness. With the smell of damp earth filling my nose, I thought they had buried me alive. But soon, I understood how stupid it was to expect this kind of mercy from them. I managed to get above ground with my bare hands and tried to flee that damn jungle at once. But when I slipped and fell into a small puddle of muddy water, for a moment I plunged into the scorching pit of madness. The reflection in the water showed that I now inhabited the body that once belonged to my guide. Why did you take me out of the asylum? I had to. As I said before, if I didn't, you would have been totally overcome by now. They were planning to eliminate you and take your body for good. But fortunately, I came just at the right time. We now have a chance. I can't make it by myself. They defeated everyone else except you. Look, I am tired and have to get my drug. Let's continue this conversation tomorrow. Thank you.